Hello and welcome to the session which is hosted by Akash. As it's very clear from the backdrop, the main agenda of today's discussion is JEE Advanced 2016 Physics Paper 1 Code 2. We're going to discuss the entire question paper as regard to physics. And here we are beginning with section 1. Altogether we have four questions in section 1 and a correct solution will award you 3 while an incorrect will penalize you minus 1. Let's begin with the first question. The first question that has been taken is from modern physics and the topic is photoelectric effect. A very straightforward question. The data is pertaining to the famous photoelectric effect where the wavelength of the light used is this which is given in micrometer and the stopping potential is this much in volts. Now from these particular data what we are supposed to calculate is the Planck's constant from this data. The famous photoelectric experiment all of you know so I will not be stressing much on that particular part but yes the stopping potential if I denote by V0 then that would of course be equals to Hc by lambda minus Hc by lambda naught where lambda is the wavelength of the light which is irradiating the metal and lambda naught of course the threshold wavelength which purely depends on the nature of metal. Since the metal is same here so lambda naught is going to be constant but for different wavelength of light the stopping potential will have different values so I better write this as lambda 1 v naught 1 and E v naught 2 is hc by lambda 2 minus hc by lambda naught. Call this as equation 1, equation 2 and if I subtract 1 with 2, there comes E V naught 1 minus V naught 2 is equal to Hc 1 by lambda 1 minus 1 by lambda 2. Now, among these particular three pairs, you may take any two, lambda 1, V naught 1, lambda 2, V naught 2. So, the third data is in fact redundant, that is not required. And when you solve it with all the standard values, you are going to get the correct option as option number B. So that was as regard to question number one. Let's proceed to question number two. 